Good afternoon, everybody. It's Gwen with Crafty Lady Designs. I have a new journal that I just finished last night. Oh, I just, I love it. It's a little, it's just a wee bit smaller, not very much. It measures, uh, where's my, five, it measures five inches or five and an eighth by eight and a half, and it has a two and a quarter inch spine. It's all fabric. Uh, I bought this fabric at, I believe, Hobby Lobby, and if I didn't, it's Hobby, I've had it a little while uh, at uh, Joann's. I have a metal plate that says uh, Paris number 15, and it does come out if you, I usually put them in to say, but this one comes out, so if you want to put your name in it or, or another name to it, you're more than welcome to. It has five signatures. And approximately 154 pages more or less. Uh, I secured it with just some twine. I didn't want to put grommets in it and uh, of course the back is just plain uh, and the spine is plain. Uh, it is attached, The uh, I, I, it's on a fake spine per se, but it is attached to the book. It's not a hollow spine. So uh, let's get into the nonsense. I really like it. It came out really pretty, I think. And I do, uh, I am going to list this on Etsy within the hour. I have everything ready to put up. I just, excuse me, haven't put anything up yet. When you open it up, there is a pocket on the inside. And I have filled that pocket with various things. Here's a tag that I made just, uh, I, I put back chapter three on the back it's a book page uh and this is just cardstock this is a little uh tag a little pocket that i made and i think this came from uh wendy's journals adventure i'm just almost sure and i made just made it out of uh, uh decorative paper and this is uh tracy fox's little uh tea tags and it's just oh i can't get it it's just a tag that I made from some paper with uh, Tim Holtz's, I believe. It's got a tab on the front, and then I just put a grommet on. There's nothing else in it. You could you could journal on it uh, with ink, but it just fits in there for memorabilia. I made these. I got some new books. I made these envelopes and uh, with book page with one of my new books. It doesn't have anything in it, but you certainly could put something. I zigzagged all around it. And then this is one of Tim Holtz's little uh, word tags. And so I just use that as to secure it. And it says celebrate, of course. This is my information with a little thank you on it. Uh, Crafty Lady Designs is handmade book, blah, I can't talk. book junk journals, uh, etc with my email address and with my Etsy address. And the name of my Etsy shop is Book Art Design, all one word. This is just a little thank you note. Oh, this is just a little thank you note. Uh, well, it's a thank you, but in this, and I found this on either Johnny's or um, Mrs. Cobb's. And it's a note from the bookmaker. And it tells you about... Uh, books and journals and what they're for and where they come from and various information about and then down at the bottom corner is my uh, insignia my g insignia so this just gives you a little information and i include those in the book i made the envelope as well it's the same stationery as the note and then i made a seal just a seal to seal it so these are all in busy little first pocket <laughs> first pocket and then this little tag and this little tag this is the first page of the uh, five signatures I did a lot of stenciling and this is just some memorabilia uh, that I had in my stash this is a, a doily and this is calligraphy paper I, I buy this calligraphy paper at um, uh, Hobby Lobby in the art section where they got the pens and uh, that type and pen, pen, that type of thing. Here is a, uh, of course, a blank page to journal on. This is a copy of a, uh, 
I think it's a 1893, I think, uh, ledger page, and it is a copy. I, I have these originals, and uh, I don't have very many, so I, I have copied them. This is uh, not deli paper. I ordered this paper on Amazon. Uh, it's like deli, but it's baking paper. It's brown uh, baking paper, and it comes in sheets instead of a roll. It's the same size as a cookie sheet. Uh, here's a piece of blank paper for journaling. Uh, here's another receipt uh, that I have, and I don't have a date on this one either. I, these were like in certainly in the 1800s, and it's a copy as well. Another uh, book page. Here's the back part of the uh, baking paper. Here is an envelope that uh, I bought from uh, Sagrita. Uh, she makes these. There's nothing in it. Uh, I just put it here so you could put tags in it or any kind of information you want to or hide something. <laughs> and I put it on an original. This is original uh, Sears catalog paper that I bought online. Another blank page. There's a lot of blank pages to uh, write with. Here's the center of our first signature. And I use uh, waxed linen thread. And on the, uh, it, I left the uh, strings longer and put just little tags on them. Blank paper as well. There's the back part of the uh, catalog. And here's the back piece of the baking paper. Another uh, uh, the back, this is the back side of what we just went through. Coffee dyed paper, uh, baking paper, the back side of the uh, uh, journal, and we're almost through. Back side of the calligraphy and the doily. Uh, same paper. That's the end of the first. This is the second signature. All the signatures have stenciling on them and we start out they're virtually all the same laid out uh, this is the doily and the uh, calligraphy paper uh, plain paper here's the baking paper here's the uh, catalog paper I made these these are so cute these are and I don't have I'll try to find the uh, the gal that did this I think it's something attic it is uh, these are just hidden uh, hidden uh, paper clips but this one has got it's a pocket that you could hide something in and then I bought these online they're just tags with numbers just love them but I just love those new uh, hidden paper clips and there's another new one I found online and there again I haven't made any yet but I'm going to they're really neat so here's another envelope with Tim Holtz's uh, little card. Now this one has a tag. I just made these little tags and just stuck in there. And you, there again, you can put notes in there or pictures or, or whatever. And then it's secured. It's secured with the uh, with the word uh, tag paper. Uh, I mean, deli paper, another uh, plain. This is the center of our second signature, and this is uh, not short. It is shorthand. I'm <laughs> sorry, short. I had this in high school. Shorthand uh, page, and that, there again, we have little tags on our uh, strings. More, uh, this is 620. So this is 19, or 1808. 62408. Uh, baking paper, coffee dyed paper, coffee dyed paper, uh, catalog, and there's the back of our, these are the back sides, and then there again there's our uh, doily, and that's the end of our second, this is our third signature, uh, with the uh, design on the front, the uh, coffee dyed, and I'm going to Try to speed this up a little. Another uh, copy of a uh, ledger, an old ledger. One of these ledgers, and I don't know if I covered it up or not, and this is the baking paper. One of these ledgers 
And this is the catalog. This is a postcard. Now this is the back, the, the last of our, uh, no, it's not the last of it. Uh, this is a, a just a text box that I put with a postcard in it. This is baking paper, plain paper, back to the center of the, with the um, a shorthand. Baking paper. One of those, and I should be coming to it. Uh, let's see. Now this is Dr. Weymouth. Weymouth. Dr. Weymouth. One of them has Carrie, Carrie something on it. And Carrie, and this is the 1800s, and Carrie was my grandmother's first name, Carrie, Carrie Eleanor. And that apparently was an old name. And of course, it's come to life within the last 25, 30, 40 years. Uh, here is the uh, fourth signature. There again with the stenciled roses. Here is the uh, calligraphy paper and doily. This is another, uh, it's like a library card, and I made it with a, uh, oh, well, you, time card, with a time card. This was the bottom of the time card, and I stamped on it that says, enjoy every moment. I've got a stamp that says that. This is just a, a card with a grommet. Uh, it's a Tim Holtz uh, collection, and the back is just paper, or just book paper, and it's sticked in there. Uh, oh, here it is. Uh, Miss Car Ms. Miss Carrie Jones. Oh, that is so cool. I love it so much. And this is a copy. Uh, I wanted to say that. Baking paper is another envelope with another tag. This has a tag in it. Uh, I'll put on book paper. Uh, this, as I say, will be on my Etsy shop just real soon. Uh, this is another text box that I put in it with a tag. It's just a tag from uh, some designer paper with a grommet and a string attached to it. Uh, this is my bait. I love this. In fact, I just got this. I just ordered this. And it is in sheets. And the next time I do my coffee dyeing, I'm going to use this to see how that comes out. Because Oh, oh excuse me. <laughs> my husband just come in and scared me. Um... I, uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, this is the catalog uh, paper. And then we go to plain paper. Then we go to the uh, baking paper. And as I was saying before, I was terribly scared. <laughs> it's funny. I apologize. Uh, is baking paper. Here's another receipt. And we're, I'm going to try it because I've used the regular parchment baking paper. And uh, it sometimes picks up some of the coffee or the tea or whatever, and I use it as well. Now, this is shiny, and this is slick, and you cannot print on it. It will not hold, and neither will parchment, but it just adds another uh, texture of paper to it. Here's the other little, oh, these are so cute. Here's the other little, uh, sorry, uh, paper clip with one of Timmy's uh, paper dolls on it. And then there again... Now, this one I closed up, but they're made so you can put a little message in them or hide a secret or something. That would be nice. I'm going to make some other news. There's parchment and the end. This is our fifth signature. This is one of the... I pulled this down. It's on my digitals. Uh, it's... it's uh, oh, I, I don't know. I, I'm sorry. I don't know. I have so many digital downloads that I'm... And when I save them, it doesn't always say uh, where I got them. So I do apologize. Uh, here again, we have the doily and the calligraphy paper. We have the uh, plain. I've got a lot of plain paper to, uh, uh, to uh, stencil on. Uh, this is the cat, not stencil on, but to uh, journal on. And here's another one of the, uh, this is like a, uh, library card and this is a graphic 45 paper and it's a graphic 45 tag now gra i bought the tag but i bought the dies there are dies and they're all the sizes the big ones the middle ones and these are the the small ones. these are the atc size 
and they've got the metal grommet in it already, but the die cuts out the decorative paper to fit it within the tag with about a, a sixteenth of an inch edging. Really, really neat. So that, and I put a, a, a twine on the top, a little heavier twine. This again is one of the Sigrida's uh, envelopes. I did put a tag in this one. And all these, I made these uh, uh, ceiling uh, wax closures. I just got a new deal with that. And here we get more baking paper, more uh, writing paper, a middle of our fifth signature with shorthand page, uh, baking paper. There again, they're virtually all the same, but there are a lot of uh, pages for you to uh, and even embellish if you want to add more embellishments. You're certainly more than welcome to. And that is virtually the end. Now the back pocket, the back pocket is made exactly the same as the front pocket. There is another, this is a loose envelope. Nothing in this one, but this is Sagrita's as well. There are three of these in the in the book, and that fits in there. This is a tag I just made from uh, decorative paper. Uh, this I made. Now this is uh, a takeoff. <laughs> it may be Gale. I'm not sure, but it's just a an envelope that I collaged. Uh, it's made from book paper. And I collaged it on the back, on the inside, and on the flap uh, from my stash. And it's in here as well where you can put, there's nothing in it, you could put something in it. This is just a little bought and tag. I bought these a long time ago. And they're a little heavy. Uh, and I just stamped a little flower on it. And then they've got satin ribbon in them. So that's in here as well. And this is the back of our book. So there we are. Now this ties. I'm going to try to tie it back because I always mess this up. I don't know why. I just didn't want to put any grommets in it. And um, it ties like so with a bow. Uh, or you could use ribbon or whatever you want to use. But uh, I just didn't want uh, to put grommets in it. I, I didn't want much on it because I love the fabric. I think the fabric is just really pretty. It's kind of a, oh, it's an upholstery fabric. You can upholstery a chair with it. It isn't real light, nor is it real heavy. Be nice for pillows, of course. And you, as I say, you could do a chair in it, but uh, it's kind of Parisy and uh, shabby. It's not shabby. She can I understand we cannot use that word, but that word has been got a copyright or something. Can you believe that? So we gotta be careful on some of this. So the F shot is I hope you like it. I really do like it. Uh and I will have within the next hour or so, uh well within the next hour I'm gonna have it downloaded on uh my Etsy shop, bookartdesign.com. Have any questions, please ask me and please comment. I would appreciate it. Not a follower. I would appreciate that as well. Enjoy having you. I do have wonderful followers uh, already. And thank you so much for sticking in there with me. My email will be down below and all the pertinent information on the book uh, and my Etsy uh, address, how to get there. I do also use uh, CapturedOnPaper.com. I'll have that information below. I haven't put anything on there for a while. It's kind of slowed down. Uh, my Etsy shop is fairly new. Uh, in fact, I just sold a book uh, yesterday, another one, but uh, it is fairly new. So I would appreciate uh, a following uh, if you go over and view the shop and, and follow me. And any other questions, as I say, please ask me and I'd be more than happy uh, to answer them. So, uh, have a great rest of your day. I do apologize for yelping. I, he's, he always lets me know when he comes home and I was all engrossed. Uh, have a great rest of your day and I will see you on the next video. Bye-bye.